Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. Uh, <laughs> and The View had a couple of interesting hot topics and one that they missed again. Um, the uh, mother of the, of the teenager who uh, shot and killed students in a school in Michigan um, has been found guilty of what was it? Involuntary manslaughter? Now I can't remember what she was convicted of. Um, but anyway, she's probably going to prison for the rest of her life because she gave her her, her unstable kid a gun for Christmas. Um, yes, hold the fu fucking parents accountable. That, you know, the parents of toddlers who shoot their siblings, hold them accountable. Like, if you, if you can't keep your guns away from children um then you should be held accountable for what the what what they do with them and i don't know why does a 15 year old need the gun i don't i, I don't I, I, that he can't drive a car um it, it, you know it just goes back to that whole notion we have to register our cars we have to pass a test that says that we are allowed to drive a car we have to have insurance on the car it's all legally required Right. And if we do something fucked up with the car, we get our license taken away and we're not allowed to drive the car anymore. Um, and we have less control over guns than we do over cars. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, the father's going to go um, on trial, I think, next month and he will probably go to jail, too. I don't know if that kid has any siblings or if those two have any other children. Um but it seems like the whole family is going to be in prison for the rest of their lives because they're stupid. Like, it's just, that's, that's your stupid penalty. Use your fucking head. Um, but anyway, you know, gun culture in this fucking country is out of control. And it, I don't care. The more people that, uh, you know, are, are um, irresponsible gun owners that are in jail, it's fine by me. I'd rather you be in jail for that than um, because you're, you know, sold somebody some weed. Fuck off. Um, anyway. So then they did discuss uh, the fact that the D.C. Circuit Courts uh, ruled uh, that the orange toddler is um, uh, or can be prosecuted for uh, crimes that he committed and does not have blanket immunity um, while in the White House. Um, I appreciated the the extra legal analysis that Sonny provided on this um, today, because I didn't read the 57 pages um, and I haven't caught up on uh, on the whole thing, but it's good to know they fucked him. Um, it, you know, it, I agree with Joy. I don't have a lot of faith in this current Supreme Court, but um, I also don't know that they have a lot of leeway here. Um, it's pretty fucking clear um, when you, you know, you put your hand on a Bible when you get inaugurated and you swear to uphold the constitution of the united states that's um you know and inciting an insurrection is it, it is it, um you know not upholding the constitution of the united states anyway uh so i hope that goes to trial i'm sad to hear that the uh the document stealing case won't make it to trial before the election. I don't really know why. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and I wish this Georgia case would would speed itself up, but because uh, um, we need more of Trump on trial on TV. Um, I don't care how much how many times he says it's a witch hunt. Um, the more evidence that is shown to the American people about what a crook he is, uh, the better to me. Um, but again, they missed the. The, the 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 big story yesterday the house uh, voted to impeach um uh, the homeland security secretary Mayorkas, and the vote failed <laughs> the first time in 160 years that a uh, a vote for impeachment failed in the house um that's pretty fucking funny uh you know the in a in a situation like that you don't bring it to a, a vote unless you know you have the votes and they didn't um and they didn't know it it's just bad bad leadership um i don't agree with that statement across the board i don't think that um you should never bring legislation unless you have the votes because i think it's important to um and you should use those votes that 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 
against the people who who vote no um to kill a bill that uh, that could have been productive um i think that that's that, that's that's good uh political ammunition and that's not playing politics that's saying here's something that we think is good for the country let's see if you agree you don't agree okay now we're going to tell everyone of your constituents that you don't want them to have you know health care <laughs> uh so um anyway that uh that effort failed from the House. I, I don't really know um, if the Speaker is going to be able to keep his job or if somebody's going to ask to, him to step down again. Um, it's funny because now Matt Gates is mad. <laughs> you asked for this, buddy. You're the one who ousted uh, McCarthy. So uh, it's pretty it, it, it's pretty dismal for the uh, for the Republican House of Representatives. I you know we just need a couple of Republican to vote for Hakeem Jeffries and, and it, maybe we could solve some issues. Um, but I don't understand why that wasn't uh, mentioned on today's Hot Topics. Um, you know, you've got this giant platform, the most watched television program in daytime. And, you know, like Cheryl Lee Ralph said, what's the point of being the second if, if it's not so that there can be a third? Like, what's the point of having this giant platform if you're not going to use it um, to, actually uh, e expose what's going on you you know the, the view claims to be this political program um and they should be shaming the republicans for this if it were the, the, uh, if the sure on the other foot they would have that would have been the lead story um today and you know nancy pelosi failed blah 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 um I, I, they should hold a list of fair fowler and griffins whatever the fuck her name is feet to the fire you know make her explain uh how this party is is worth voting for is worth because it's done it doesn't function um it doesn't govern and uh and they can't even uh they can't even execute on their witch hunts um and that really was a witch hunt um but no the view chose not to talk about that um uh, but they did have dylan sprouse on who you know kid raised uh as an actor um in uh LA um it, it he just exudes uh media training and um and, you know inauthenticity like it's just he it, it seems like a nice kid man but like it's just you know he's built for sound bites uh, it, it's really difficult to you know root for someone where you just don't feel like there's anything authentic about them. Um, I did, you know, I wanted them to ask about Friends because he played Ross's son. Um, and if there was ever any kind of idea about doing, a, 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 you know, not a, a, a reboot, but a continuation of that program based on those kids, right? On Ben and Emma or, um, or something. And if that was ever even floated as an idea and if it were, would, would he have been interested? Um, but then I thought, it, you know, do Ben and Emma even know each other? Did they ever meet? Because once the once Rachel had a baby, I don't think we ever saw Ben again, um, ever. Uh, so I don't even know if those two half siblings knew each other. Um, well, that would also be a fun uh, way to introduce it. But now, like nothing, there's nothing in that program can ha can happen, um, even. It, 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 there's no point in entertaining it because I just don't think anybody wants to watch that universe where um, where Chandler's dead. Um, they can't write him out because they they couldn't they can't make it a you know a dead guy the villain for having left Monica. Um, so they can't you know have him just written out. He would have to die and then she'd be a widow and like that just the whole thing would be terrible. So yeah, that the Friends universe is over, finale finito, donezo. Um, but yet. It's still fun to talk about it. 